Welcome to Science 9, Third Quarter, Week 6. Human activities, from pollution to overpopulation, are driving up the Earth's temperature and fundamentally changing the world around us. The main cause is a phenomenon known as the greenhouse effect. Gases in the atmosphere, such as water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and chlorofluorocarbons, let the sun's light in, but keep some of the heat from escaping, like the glass walls of a greenhouse. The more greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, the more heat gets trapped, strengthening the greenhouse effect and increasing the Earth's temperature. Human activities, like the burning of fossil fuels, have increased the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere by more than a third since the Industrial Revolution. The rapid increase in greenhouse gases in the atmosphere has warmed the planet at an alarming rate. While Earth's climate has fluctuated in the past, atmospheric carbon dioxide hasn't reached today's levels in hundreds of thousands of years. Climate change has consequences for our oceans, our weather, our food sources, and our health. Ice sheets, such as Greenland and Antarctica, are melting. The extra water that was once held in glaciers causes sea levels to rise and spills out of the oceans, flooding coastal regions. Warmer temperatures also make weather more extreme. This means not only more intense major storms, floods, and heavy snowfall, but also longer and more frequent droughts. These changes in weather pose challenges. Growing crops becomes more difficult. The areas where plants and animals can live shift and water supplies are diminished. In addition to creating new agricultural challenges, climate change can directly affect people's physical health. In urban areas, the warmer atmosphere creates an environment that traps and increases the amount of smog. This is because smog contains ozone particles, which increase rapidly at higher temperatures. Exposure to higher levels of smog can cause health problems such as asthma, heart disease, and lung cancer. While the rapid rate of climate change is caused by humans, humans are also the ones who can combat it. If we work to replace fossil fuels with renewable energy sources like solar and wind, which don't produce greenhouse gas emissions, we might still be able to prevent some of the worst effects of climate change. Climate change is one of the most current worldwide issues. Some experts say that it is true that Earth does go through a period of cooling and a period of warming. The increase of temperature that we are experiencing right now is caused by factors other than human activity. Another point of view is that the increase of Earth's temperature is brought about by human intervention. Whether the cause is man-made or not, climate change is a change in the environment. Global warming can bring about a rising of sea level due to the melting of ice cups and glaciers. We may experience severe weather disturbances such as much stronger typhoons and heavier rainfalls. Some parts of the world may experience extreme El Niña and El Niño or La Niña. And most of all, it can cause extinction of some fauna and flora or extinction of animals and plants. But what is the root of all of these changes in our environment? Greenhouse Effect The greenhouse effect 
is a natural process that warms the Earth's surface. When the Sun's energy reaches the Earth's atmosphere, some of it is reflected back to space and rest it is absorbed and re-radiated re by greenhouse gases. Some sunlight that hits the Earth is reflected back into space while the rest becomes heat. Greenhouse gases prevent heat from escaping into space, making the Earth warmer. And that's how greenhouse gases has a good contribution in our planet to maintain the warm in planet. These are the greenhouse gases that maintains the warm of our planet or that traps those um, heat to maintain the warm in planet. Greenhouse gases include water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, ozone, and some artificial chemical such as chlorofluorocarbon. As you um, see here in this picture, it shows that carbon dioxide has the largest percentage in our greenhouse gases. The absorbed energy warms the atmosphere and the surface of the Earth. This process maintains the Earth's temperature at around 33 degrees Celsius, warmer than it would other, otherwise be, allowing life on Earth to exist. So, greenhouse gases is very important because they drop the heat and maintains the warmth in Earth, making life possible. But because of human activities, enhanced, enhanced greenhouse effect is happening. The problem we now face is that human activities, particularly burning fuel, fossil fuels such as coal, oil, and natural gas, agriculture and land clearing, are increasing the concentrations of greenhouse gases. This is the enhanced greenhouse effect, which is contributing to warming of the Earth. How does enhanced greenhouse effect happen? Step 1. Solar radiation reaches the Earth's atmosphere. Some of this is reflected back into space. That is a natural greenhouse effect. The rest of the sun's energy is absorbed by the land and oceans, heating the earth. Heat radiates from earth towards space. But some of this heat is trapped by greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, keeping the earth warm enough to sustain life. Again, that is a natural greenhouse effect. We need greenhouse gases to maintain the warm to earth to sustain life. But because of human activities, human enhanced greenhouse effect happening. Human activities such as burning fossil fuels, agriculture, and land clearing are increasing the amount of greenhouse gases released into the atmosphere. This is trapping extra heat. If, we, if the greenhouse gases traps more heat because there are much more concentration or increase in greenhouse gases in the atmosphere due to human activities, meaning to say there's more greenhouse gases, more heat will be trapped, causing the Earth's temperature to rise, making the globe warmer or this is the cause or that results to what we call global warming. And global warming, according to study, is one of the reasons of climate change. What are the effects of climate change? Climate change is really happening due to continuous warming of 
operate results by enhanced greenhouse effect. Climate change effects are felt by humans, plants, and animals. There are some species of plants that bloom earlier than it is expected because of climate change. There are some animals that supposedly still hibernating but are already up because of climate change. There is an earlier migration of birds and arriving to their nesting ground and others appear to be later. Sometimes, some animals and birds tend to stay into their, into their local ter territory because of the climate is already suitable for them. The sea level is rising. The melting of glaciers that cover the land causes the sea level to rise. And that is because of climate change. If sea level increases by 50 cm, sea turtle turtles may lose their nesting areas. People and animals that live in near shorelines may be forced to move out. Thus, animals moving out of their natural habitat face challenges that could lead them to the extinction of their species. Here in the Philippines, we experience heavy rainfalls brought by Typhoon Ondoy and Hanging Abagan, which result in submerging most parts of Metro Manila and some provinces. And that is all because of climate change. Do you still remember Typhoon Yolanda? That brought the strongest wind ever encountered by people in Visayas region, leaving great destruction and loss of lives. And those are the results of what we call climate change. Hanging Amihan also brought very cold wind affecting the climate of the country and destroying some crops of farmers in the northern part of Luzon. These are only some of the impacts of climate change that can be observed and felt in our times. We should start to take action to lessen the effect of climate change. Smile and learn! Hey there, friends! I have a very important mission to look after the environment and help so that kids like you join us in this task, which is vital for our planet. As you may already know, human beings and the environment are closely linked together. Every time people harm nature, they cause environmental problems. These problems involve damaging changes in the environment, many of which will be irreversible and will affect the health of all human beings. Look at this river. People have thrown waste in it, the water has been contaminated, and now nobody can drink it. Oh no! There are also many animals and living beings that will die because of contamination. Luckily, it's in our hands to protect nature and look after the environment. That's why I want to share with you these 10 easy ways to look after the environment. Let's take a look! Turn off the lights and the electronic devices you're not using to save energy. Replace plastic bags with reusable cloth bags. It takes plastic bags years to decompose and making them is a very contaminating process. Separate and recycle the different types of waste. Organic, inorganic, containers, glass or paper and cardboard. To avoid wasting water, make sure taps are completely turned off. The toilet is not a rubbish bin. Did you know that we waste 10 liters of water every time we flush the toilet? Have a shower instead of a bath. A 5 minute shower uses about 100 liters of water, while a full bath would use up to 250 liters. Turn off the water tap while brushing your teeth. If you didn't shut off the faucet, you would waste an average of 20 liters every time you brushed your teeth. Reuse paper. 
For example, remember that you can write on both sides of the sheet to maximize its use. Pick up your litter every time you go to the beach or the mountains. Respect and look after the animals, flowers, and trees around you. Easy ways to look after the environment, right? I'm sure you already know about them and do most of them. With simple actions like recycling, saving energy and water, and looking after all living beings, we contribute to a more sustainable planet. Do you know this word? A sustainable planet or city are those that provide people with a good quality of life without risking natural resources. This way, future generations will enjoy a wonderful planet where economic growth, environmental care, and social well-being are in balance. Remember, it's in your hands. Want to join us in our mission? Did you like the video? We have so many more! Subscribe by clicking on the seal. Ah, and if you want to keep watching more videos, click on the boxes. After learning the concept in week 6, what to do? Answer the given 10 item piece. Write your answer on a clean sheet of paper. Good luck! Thank you for watching and listening. Have a nice day.